All right, boys, so as you can see, we're going to continue pretty much right, like, literally exactly right where we left off. Um, I think a boss fight is coming. I think this next one is going to be with Stucky in this next area. So, uh, let's find out. Uh, first, let's grab this manuscript page. Let's see what that says. Wake lies to the, the sheriff. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Huh. Okay. Okay. I've already hit my limit for um, batteries and I think pistol ammo. Hope? to elevate all of mankind Newton, Einstein, Sagan princes among men but the price for such a legacy is steep indeed in night springs tonight's episode a quantum suicide if our lives are already written it would take a courageous man to change the script having called a press conference Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here you're insane colvin insane insane hey was this thing supposed to be plugged in i stumbled on it you fools gaze upon quantum immortality poor poor dr colvin filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Anyways. All right, boys, let's hit the button. Okay, that opens the gate. I was about to say I don't know what that did. Cool, cool, cool. What is this? Okay, that, that okay, I don't know what that did. I get so much darkness everywhere.
I love how he just like blurts it out. Oh great. Okay, never mind. I was hoping you were Stucky. You're not Stucky. I don't know who you are. Oh shit. Jeez. I just got an achievement for that. Oh, jeez. Come on, buddy. You get your ass back here. I'm going to destroy you. Oh, what the hell? I timed that all wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Stucky. Got him. Okay. Nordic walking. I just got two achievements. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming okay. I reach the lights at the gas station alive. Alright. Load that back up. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that the yes, it is. Okay. Get as much of this ammo and everything as we can. Alright, Adam Limit reached. Get the hell out of here. I, I still think it's hilarious how Stucky was just blurting random shit out. Like, you know, just like, almost like he's making conversation, but he's being possessed by whatever the hell that was. Okay. Get the hell out of here, boys. I, I will admit, though, I don't like how he was just... Moving around so freaking fast. I recognized fast. the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Okay. I like how he just narrates After everything the insanity too. I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Shit, I bet. Pretty everything that we just went through? Oh, hell yeah, I bet. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, what? I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. How, what? How? How the hell are we missing a week? Okay. So I going through the garage? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Jeez. Oh my god. I'll keep writing. Outside there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. What? It's been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? That's literally just like the manuscript. Nordic walking. Proven health benefits. That's hilarious. Today, I'll do first one. Games on to ruffle tickets, fishing, couple of this. for the children. Book to Charlie Afternoons and Montgomery the Mystic's Amazing Fest to Mogoria Evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fist Bridge. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, plenty of beer. Coffee. Oh, what the hell? Max. Oh, phone. Yes. Great ball, sheriff station. Nice. Oh, thank God, sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, 
I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Okay, so Stucky runs the gas station. I thought I was, I don't know why I was thinking he ran the mill. Well, holy shit. Okay, so that was interesting. Um, the fight with uh, Stucky was a bit easier than I expected, but, you know, that's not a big, that's not an issue. Um, but holy crap, that poor guy, like, he's just gone. Like, he's just gone. Like, I don't even know if he's dead, if he's alive. He's, he's, just, he's just gone. Gone. Just, just fucking gone. Um, the, the sheriff was, there's no way in hell she's going to believe me if I ever tell him about that. I completely agree with Alan. It's like, I, if I ever tell her about that, sorry. I completely agree with Alan. But what the fuck? There's no island in Cauldron Lake. What the hell were we standing on? And how the hell did we lose seven days? That's it for episode one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, Yeah, next time is going to be episode two. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I know I sure as hell am. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. This has been interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And then I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.